Ukraine? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. I don't know what he was doing. I did not know he was on the board of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. So he's been emphatic, Harris, but this WhatsApp message has three references to dad sitting next to Hunter Biden. Uh, Free Beacon, Washington Free Beacon, we have the picture. They say that there's a picture on Hunter's laptop that shows him sitting behind the wheel of his dad's Corvette on the same day that message was sent. And GPS metadata puts him in close proximity uh, to the former vice president's Delaware home. This was after he left office. Yeah, you know, I think it's also interesting that in the whistleblower transcript, we find out that there was a, a chill put on the investigation from inside and that there was pressure not to bring up dad and the big guy and to look into those allegations. So, I mean, now it seems to me that it's even more important that we know what the president knew and when he knew it. Yeah. And it's even more important that we know what role he would have played. I can't imagine your vice president of the United States and your son is in a position that can always be problematic. Anybody who's got a child addicted to drugs knows, wow, I got to keep my eye on that kid. He's got a big swanky job with it, with an energy company in a country that's wanted to be part of NATO, but because of its reported corruption, couldn't get in. Like, you don't have more questions about that situation? This must be the most un uncurious an unserious vice president in, in the U.S. history. I, I don't buy it. I, I think he's neither of those things. I just don't think that we know the whole story. It's so true. And the interference of the deep state is what's really interesting to me, Paul. You've worked on a lot of investigations, and you have Shapley, who's overseeing this IRS investigation, say, hey, I need a search warrant. And he's slapped down and saying, no, you can't get the search warrant uh, because of, quote, optics. That was Leslie Wolf that said that. Apparently, he couldn't ask Hunter Walker questions about the big guy have you ever seen this no and you know we what we have to keep on our eye on going forward is that there's going to be more skullduggery and let me explain there's a plea deal right we need to see the four corners of that plea deal mm -hmm. because you know as long as they the democrats have the white house and joe biden is there doj is not going to move on this so everybody's kind of saying well all right if at some point the white house changes maybe we can peel back the layers of the onion and find out what went on the problem is this when we see the plea deal if the prosecutor marbles into that plea deal, all of the stuff that we're talking about, he's going to be double jeopardied out. You're not going to be able to go back wow. after Hunter right. because they covered it all. So part of this very well may be, it may not be done if we're going to call this a cover-up, the covering up may not entirely be done. The other thing that really strikes me is that are they looking at any of the cases that could be made off of the stuff that we do know? Here's a guy, any place in the country he was able to get an eight ball of cocaine at three in the morning <laughs> in any city. Are any of those leads being Honorable. cut to the DEA? Are they being cut to LAPD, NYPD? Is anybody? He should be a grand jury witness in multiple wow. narcotics investigations. Is anybody doing that? Remember, a plea deal is a deal. What are we getting out of it as taxpayers? What are he bringing to the table to get the sweetheart deal? It's supposed to be a give and take. He's a gun perp now. So I don't want to hear anything from Joe Biden during the campaign about guns, guns, guns. Go. Your son got a slap on a wrist relative to a gun charge. You've abdicated that talking point. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. Signature issue, you've undermined it. Emily, though, what I'm intrigued by, just from a legal perspective, um, you have one of the whistleblowers saying that David Weiss, the U.S. attorney, wanted to bring charges in D.C. in March of 2022. He wasn't allowed to. Mm -hmm. Fall of that year, wanted to bring them in California. Wasn't allowed to. However, Merrick Garland says... I never interfered in the investigation. We have not heard from David Weiss. I would want to hear from him, but we do have this letter he sent to Jim Jordan. And he said, I want to make clear that as the attorney general has stated, I have been granted ultimate authority over the matter. That's so someone's not telling the truth here. That's right. And the only way that we can get to the bottom of that would be hauling everyone in before Congress and getting their sworn testimony. The attorney general, David Weiss, every ADA wolf. Let's bring them in. You know, to Paul's point, there is a constellation of alleged and frankly known criminal behavior of this individual. Think about if, if you had a ton of different symptoms. You know, your arm was falling off, you have a cold, you have an ulcer, and you're only addressing one. There is 90 more percent of that whole circle left for us to investigate as taxpayers. We need to understand what is going on with any type of improper um, allegations of influence with foreign registration. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section.
Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the Macad TV family. Please like and share Macad TV. We love you all. Please support Macad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.